Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. It's five-year-old soccer camp. As you can see, many of the players are on the field. We don't know what they're doing on the field right now. They seem to be lying down. They're running. The, the action is in the middle. It's blue against orange. There's my son, Caden. He's going after it. But he has a tendency to play goal. Goalie. That is his favorite position. Unfortunately, he's supposed to be charging the ball. But he's OK. It looks like the blue ball has been kicked out of bounds. It looks like the coach is going to throw the ball back into the play. But if you notice, there's a lot of different temperament going on. You can see the blue team is now going to throw the ball into the field. Here they go. So they've thrown the ball into the field. And now, unfortunately, they are charging the wrong way. They seem to be going the wrong way. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. My son is playing goalie. He's looking, and he's standing his position. He's ready, but unfortunately his own player seems to be kicking it into the goal. This is unfortunate. It's a long ways away. Oh, they've scored on the goalie. They have gotten one point. This is not good. Oh my gosh, there's an, a lot of overreaction. There's a lot of drama. Yes, that's what happens. And in fact, the other game has bled over into this field. There seems to be games on both fields. We don't know what's going to happen next. My son is getting ready to play. He's looking. The coach is separating the teams. She's bringing in one of the other players. Maybe not. Maybe not. The players seem to be distracted. But here we go. We don't know what's happening on with the blue team. There's a lot of camaraderie between the gals, and they seem to want to talk to each other more than play. My son is running back to the goal. Here we go. Um, there is some motion here. And we don't know what happened. OK, a lot of action on the ball. The blue team is kicking the ball. My son has run back to the goal. He's back to the goal. He's now running away from the goal. And they have to stop. So there's a lot of confusion in five-year-old soccer. But it is the makings of the next World Cup team. The next US World Cup team is being fielded right now. It might be a ways until they're ready for the World Cup, but you never know. Okay, looks like they're going to throw the ball into play right here. Very exciting. My son lines up. He's ready. He claps. And the ball goes into the game. He runs back to the goal. A natural goalie. Unfortunately, he's on the wrong end of the field. He is now running, running, running towards the full. And it looks like their team scored a point. He was not involved at all. So now, now he's celebrating the goal by lying on the ground, flipping around. Five-year-old soccer at its best. So anyway, he's <laughs> now being chased by his own team member. This is an unusual move here on the orange team. And he falls down. But that's what happens in five-year-old soccer. So whatever you do, oh my, this crying. Check us out on the Facebook. <laughs> Look us up on the YouTube. But whatever you do, don't let your children cry by playing five-year-old soccer because it confuses all of them. Till next time. See you soon.